A new report from Hawaii's Attorney General's office is shedding new light on the deadly and devastating wildfires that ripped through Maui last August. The extensive nearly 200-page report found the state's emergency management agency failed to quickly respond to the crisis and said residents were in the dark about the dangerous situation unfolding because of a major communication breakdown. The AG's report is the second of its kind released about the fires this week. Just on Tuesday, the Maui Fire Department detailed the staffing and resource challenges it faced during those extreme conditions, identifying 17 specific challenges it faced including loss of water supply and its fire hydrants. Meantime, those on the island still reeling from the fires, coping with the sudden loss of hundreds in the community and rebuilding the thousands of homes which were lost in the flames. So joining me now, I'd like to welcome in Maui residents and business owners, James and Tennille Brueggemann. Uh, James and Tennille, thank you both uh, for giving us some of your time. Yeah. So two new reports coming out just this week. This latest really shows that a lot of things went wrong. Are either of you surprised at the findings? What is your reaction? I don't feel very surprised because uh, everything that happened back then when the fire started is still happening now. Um, total breakdown. And right now, the county of Maui is playing the biggest interference with getting our island what we need, and that is housing for the victims. We'll talk about that because I know you, you both own this tiny house company. So talk about how, how you're trying to help. So we have put up about 100 houses so far since the fire, but we could have easily put up 1,000 houses. And uh, interference from really all levels of government, contractors, you know, people that can't get a cut out of it. Um, just a lot of interference. It's only about 100, and you think you could have done more. Do you think, either of you, that real change will come out of this tragedy, that there will be some positive? Well, the community, the community is banding together. I'm sure Tanil has some. Yeah, the community, that's one of the best things that's come out of all of it. It's not really been the government stepping up or our county officials helping in any way, but the people have all banded together and are accomplishing things that the county should be doing. Do you still feel to Neil that enough attention is being paid? Obviously, you know, at some point the cameras have to leave, the reporters leave, but it doesn't mean that the problems go away. Yeah, well, and it's actually worse now than it was when the fires happened. Because when the fires happened, we had FEMA, we had Red Cross, everybody was there. And now, you know, Everyone's now it's getting worse. Kicked out. Now so what, what do you mean by that, James? How is everyone getting kicked out? Well, you know, when the fire happened, all the doors open, you know, people open their doors, hotels. all the hotels and everyone. And now it's just the opposite. Everyone's now getting kicked out and having to find their own resources. There is still help coming from FEMA and stuff, but there's simply no housing available. That and the prices of rent have skyrocketed for even the regular people that weren't affected yeah. because of the greed. Yep, lots of greed. Do you think Maui will be able to fully come back at any point? Uh, Maui will. We don't know about Lahaina. The people of Lahaina will, but right now they're exasperating the people, uh, in my opinion, so they can come in later and, and get the land. And that's, you know, how it works. They wear out the people and wear them out and, and do not let the people get comfortable. And, uh, and uh, eventually they bail. They sell, they leave, they bail. Well, before I let you go, Tennille, kind of describe what does Lahaina look like right now? If somebody, you know, paint the picture for us. It looks the same as all the pictures you're seeing, except for with less debris laying around. There's... Two words, ghost town. Wow. All right. You know, it's so important for us to continue to check in with you. I know we talked to you before. We do want to see Lahaina come back. We know that attention needs to stay on this very important topic. Uh, James and Tennille Brueggemann, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.
Triple A tiny homes. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.